I'm more excited, excited about, about this interview <laughs> than anything <laughs> that's happened in my career in the last 10 years. Oh my God. This, this, is, this, this is it. This, this is, is the defining moment. moment for me. You know, most interviews, you just come and go, but this is the one You've that... You've been I, on TV, radio, but yeah, actually... Yeah, but they, they don't, they're not like a podcast. No, it's not this like a podcast. Proper, this is real, this is talking to the people. You took the tragedy of the proceedings of getting divorced um, to make other people laugh, and it's something that is recognised quite a lot with other comedians from you know the 60s, 70s, Frankie Howard, Tony mm. Hancock. Um, they'd use that sort of tragic side to their personal life to get a laugh um, and it seems to, it seemed to work and it worked for you but what I loved as well was that you know you're, you're, you and your wife are back together now um, and she saw you at a gig um, when you were on stage and she didn't know that this was something because I think you were keeping it to yourself this was your thing you oh, started yeah, to yeah. realize that this was something that you were good at anything, no yeah. and I think you there's a bit in the book where you say to your mum I'm going to a comedy night, and she's like, "Oh, that's great! What are you going to see?" And he's like, "No, I'm Mum. It's me. I'm I'm doing it." And um, that that's a lovely thing that you you highlight is that it was your your little sort of thing that you wanted to. Yeah, I, I held on to it as like a little life raft. Yeah. Because I kept on thinking it would end, and also because I needed it. I needed that escape from from. The, the day job and all the pressures of that and the being a single dad and being a, d a divorced man. I just needed something that wasn't defined by anything else. So do you feel like the comedy saved your marriage? I think the comedy saved me. You know, there's no... I, I, I'm, that's why I can't, I can't in many respects give it up. A lot of people think, oh, you should move on now and go... Why, why, why do you still tour? Why do you still do comedy clubs? Because it was there when nothing else was. When no one else was. And, and, and that sounds a little bit daft, but it really is true. It's, it, it, was, it was therapy when I didn't have any. And that, that sense of um, well-being that you get from doing it, it's not something I can replicate in any other form of my life. And I think that's, that is the difference between you and, and other people who are in the public eye, is that they do have a sort of end goal to get famous, to, to get into yeah. a public eye. And I don't think that's not like that with no. you. That was your, as you said, Th that's your a side, That's a side effect of what I did. Exactly. And when that goes and that fades, I'll still do what I did. Yeah, yeah.